to load in a design, we're going to do designs three different ways. The first way, we're going to use our floppy disk drive. You take your floppy and you put it into the disk drive opening. And you're pressing F2 for input. And I'll move this down just so you can see it a little clearer, but the very first thing it comes on to is FDD input, which stands for floppy disk drive. So we're going to leave it on floppy disk drive. We're going to press set. The embroidery machine reads the, what's on the disk and it will display it for you. Now the first thing we want to use is the first item, which is called flower. It'll have a green highlight to the tab and it will also show the names of the designs also in green. So we're going to stay with flower and we'll press set. It shows the picture of the design as well as the memory location and this is your preview. You can actually delete the design from the floppy disk from here or you can copy it into memory. We'll press F3 to copy. And you can see the green bar went across and now it's back onto the screen where it shows all the designs and we're finished with this and we can press our escape button and it brings me back to my main screen and there's my design. In order to delete a design that you've already put into your memory of your embroidery machine, you press F1, which is EMB call. And we're going to delete design number four. So just scroll over to design number four. It will highlight the top of it. Down below, when you press set, down below what will come up is delete, copy, export, or select. Delete is going to delete the design, copy it, will copy it into a new memory place. Export it, will export it out to another machine, for example. And select just means that you're going to use that design to sew from. So we're just going to press delete, F1. And it says, do you want to delete this design? Yes for F1 and no F2. We're going to say yes. It deletes the design. And then if we go back in and look again, you'll see you only have your three designs. To load a design in from your USB key, you take the USB key and you put it into the slot. To load a design in from the USB port, you press your F2 for input. This time we'll go down to USB input. Use your down arrow. Once it's highlighted, press set. If you use a USB drive that's larger or if you have several folders on it, the folders will show up over here and then the designs from the first folder will show up here. You'll notice that on some, sometimes you'll see a little red dot or it may actually highlight the box that the design is in. And what you do is go to the design that you want to use. In this case, we'll go down and we'll load in the anchor. So we're just going to press the down arrow until we get down to anchor. If I wanted to choose something over here, you just press the right arrow. To get back, we press the left. And then you press set. It comes up, it shows you your design, and it tells you what location you're putting it into. And again, you can delete it or you can copy it. We're going to copy it to the machine's memory, so we're pressing F2. Again, it copied it and brought us back down to our main screen. We can now press Escape to get out of it. Your design shows up, and now you're ready to go into colors and settings and all that. You can, at this point, take out the USB port because you're not going to be using it. Next thing we're going to do is load a design in from the embroidery machine's memory. To do that, we go to EMB Call or F1. The designs are showing here, and we're going to load in design number three. We'll press over to three, which is your right arrow key, and we're going to press set. The same preview screen comes up, and this is very similar to what we did um, earlier by deleting it. What we're going to do is actually take the design. We're not going to copy it because it's already in a memory location. So what we're going to do is press F4 to select it. Once we select it, it puts it right on our screen, and now we're ready to embroider this design as, lo as long as we do some of the other settings.